Nathaniel Plus flying through there. That was cool. Unbelievable. I had service 3,000 feet away behind the trees, behind the hill. Flying through there. Man. Oh, that little uh, alley. I mean, it was tight. Nice. Uh-oh. I should have tried to make it down here to build these boundaries earlier because it's going to get dark on us. As long as we have the boundaries built and we know we're not going to hit trees, you can keep going. Uh, okay, so this is the catcher seed to calibrate it at least one time. We're going to lift it up and set it on these two bys. You think it will be good? Spreading system calibration, calibrate empty tank. Place aircraft flat surface, it is on a flat surface. So we're gonna calibrate it. The wind is still right now, so that's good. Add new material, auger, next. I gotta put 44 pounds in it. Okay, we weighed some of these out, 47.8. Dude, look how that auger works. That is neat. Look how little the seed is. That is tiny. Calibrating. We added our material in here. Now I'm gonna choose it. It's clover and it's small. Application rate, 12 pounds to the acre. We're going to go 1100 disc speed. Flight speed, let's see how fast it can go at 12 pounds. Shows that it can go 45. Crop height, 25. Route spacing, 25. Check all my settings one more time. Anti-kickback, nah. Turn its lights on. Here she goes. It's pretty slick. This thing's got great service. T60X is just knocking it out of the park. Knocking it out of the park. Dude, radar is really good. This reception is just disgustingly good. This is incredible. Oh my goodness. Not laggy. Oh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. That's good. Okay, so auger motor stall is ready. Yeah, that'd be a lot cooler. Yeah. So I'm having auger. I wonder if it's getting wet. Uh, I have some type of uh, some type of auger clogging because this seat is really tight, really small. Yeah. I think it can get clogged. Yeah. So it has an auto kickback. Yeah. So the auger will go in reverse and then forward. We're gonna yeah. try it now. I don't know. Hopefully that works. I never thought I'd be actually working with. Drones when it's snowing. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> well, actually, I have brighter lights than you do, so it's not going to be comparable. Oh, yeah, it's spreading. Oh, this thing is huge. Look at that. So we're doing 12 pounds to the acre, which is not that heavy. But I, I, every time it came across me, I could feel seed hitting me. Yeah. Oh, it's raining down on us. Here it is. It's cold out here, frost seeding. The old T60X just laying it down, boys. This is this is going to be the best spray drone on the market available in the United States.
Yo, auger motor stalled again. That's what it says. It gives you an auger motor stalled reading. Come on, man. See how it's climbing? Because the trees are that close. Keep getting uh, the auger stalled for some reason. Auger keeps clogging up or something. Sorry, it's getting late. I didn't think it'd be getting this. So this auger jammed up has this kickback feature. And I didn't have this on to start with, so it automatically goes back a little bit and then forward. And I think it kept pushing, and it got, because this little seed, it kind of gets in the crack and jams it up. We're learning. But this thing books it. Like, look. When it starts, it goes black and white. Yeah. Yeah. That's a 20 acre field. We should probably split it somehow. There's so freaking many trees in there. It's not funny. There's this little field to do, and then this little field right on the other side of the road. I should fly the T60 back there, see how far, how long it lasts. We can always get the bike off and I can go get it. Cause that would be sick if we could reach that from here. Let's do that. So I'm gonna need to charge it. Well, I guess. It's just gonna trickle charge. Yeah, I'm gonna do another auger. It's already running out because of the auger size. Because the seed is so little, it'll just find a crack to go around. You want to put that back just a little bit? You could hear it crushing in there. Yeah. You didn't do that last time, dude. I don't think so. I bet this is going to be more accurate, though, with this. And it's just going to leak a little bit. I mean, what? at less than half a pound. I guess we'll take off and see how much falls out. I'm gonna take off before we put the spreader on and we'll be able to see. Yeah. Insufficient spreading material on tank. Add more material until reading exceeds 55 point, then tap continue. Okay, so we just gotta keep going. Okay, so that's how you do that. What well, it's calibrating itself, and it still needed to open the gate up for, but it needed more material to do that. I definitely don't think that's the right auger. Oh, it it worked.
Okay. I'm gonna boundary that field. That was dead accurate on the boundary. Yeah. Are you seeing those telephone poles? Yep. I'm building another field. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, we'll do that little field down there next. Right, go ahead. It worked one time. Why yeah. wouldn't it again? <laughs> Taking off. Unbelievable. I had service 3,000 feet away behind the trees, behind the hill. Three thousand. Yep. Nice. Unreal. That's awesome. Yeah, I just did that manual plus flying through there. <laughs> that was cool. flying through there. Man. Oh, that little uh, alley. I mean, it was tight. Nice. I got to go back here and start there. Yeah. And then, but I still had a connection right here. Nice. wonder if I could fly through those trees. No, nope, be a little too tight. Here we go. RTH 98. Uh oh. We should probably get the bike. Oh, here it is. It RTH back. Oh. Right here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back there. I'm going to go on top of the hill and operate from there, and then I'll just call you like what I need. Okay. Uh, what, just wait a little bit. I'm going to boundary that back field. I did what I need with uh, Manual Plus, and now I'm going to boundary it. Yeah, it's ready to go.